On occasion, when you use the Seesaw app with grades three through five students, um, when they log in as a student and use the email and Google account to sign in with Google, you'll notice that it launches a web browser where all of the accounts that have been listed uh, are located. At times, you may see more accounts than the app and or Google can uh, ha handle, and you might get an error message that says something along the lines of too many accounts on this device in an error message. To clear it, we're going to go ahead and click Done. And we're going to go ahead and quit out of the Seesaw app. We're going to open up Safari. And we're going to go ahead and go to Gmail. If a student uh, is still using it, they'll be signed in, but you'll go ahead and go ahead into the mobile Gmail site. And you'll notice down at the bottom, a student has been using it. So we're going to go ahead and sign out of all accounts. There's lots of different ways of signing out of Google account on a mobile device, but this was one of the many. It will take you to this uh, splash screen that we saw on Seesaw. And to start removing accounts, you're going to go ahead and click Remove Account and the X and Yes Remove. Unfortunately, you have to do this repeatedly for all the accounts that are on there until they're all removed. Then you're going to go ahead and open the Seesaw app back up. And just as before, students would sign in with their Google account. I'm a student, email Google account, sign in with Google. And you'll notice now all of those are cleared. This is one of the reasons why from a classroom management standpoint for grades three through five students, we suggest that you assign a group of five students, let's say, to one iPad if it's feasible. Uh, so to prevent sort of a number of uh, sign-ins from occurring. But that's how you go ahead and clear Google accounts from an iPad.